Hi Bobcats! In this video we're going to take a look at the development of our modern idea of the atom. Um, when we were looking at the last chapter we were looking at things that scientists figured out with very rudimentary tools, just things like heat sources and glassware. Um, in this chapter we're going to see what happened once a lot of our modern instrumentation developed, when, when scientists were able to use um, vacuum chambers and had stable electrical sources. So um, this chapter is going to uh, continue the story that we began back in chapter two. The objectives for this section are to recognize that science changes over time and to recognize that the work of scientists builds upon the work previously done by other scientists. We're spending a lot of time talking about one story, and that's the story of the atom. So why is this so important? The reason that we're spending so much time on this is that it really demonstrates the nature of science, the way that it's a cyclic process, and there's, there's back and forth between experiments and theories, and um, as more experiments get done over time, then our theories have to change. It's also really good to demonstrate how science is collaborative. Scientists don't work in isolation. Um, they, their work builds upon the work that has been done by other scientists. This statue is located in the Woodlands, which is north of Houston, and it has a quote from Isaac Newton um, on the base wrapped around it. And the quote says, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Um, I think that pretty much sums it up for science. Um, Newton was very willing to give credit to all the people who worked before him. And from our modern perspective, Newton did such incredible work himself. Uh, he is truly one of the giants. As we continue our journey on describing the atom, um, keep in mind that this is not something that we can see with our eyes. Rather, the atom is a model that we're using to try to explain things that we observe in the lab, and we use it to construct theories and hopefully make predictions about what should happen if our theories are correct. To wrap up, let's circle back to our objectives. Um, we want to recognize that science changes over time as new experiments are done, and to recognize that the work of scientists builds upon the work of previous scientists. 